What an amazing sight. This is my favourite race of the Goodwood Revival. There's no doubt about it. The Setrington Cup, named after one of the Duke of Richmond's family names, one of his many names, were underway. 70 pedal car fanatics would be champions. I'm joined by Katie Bunnings, who is herself an extreme Formula E. Now, I bet you didn't start in the pedal car. Ah, uh, do you know I did actually? I had a noddy car. That was my first car. Here we go then, heading towards the chicane. 250 metres of frantic pedalling activity, <laughs> weaving and bobbing through. Let's pick up the number of the first car. This is a Tupra number 177 coming through and pedalling very, very hard indeed. Look where you're going. Don't look over the shoulder. He's checking how far he's got if he needs to use all of his effort. Goodness me, 177 is not even in the programme. 62 coming hard, number 62. That's George Moore and the Nick Moore car. Can George Moore do it at the line? The number 62 car. Come on, George. The gold car coming out for second place. In third place, it's the number 13 car of Alex Kinsman's car. George Moore, George Moore in the gold car is doing it. Absolutely brilliant stuff. George Moore takes it over the line for victory. Incredible. Second. Couldn't see who was second. The numbers here, they're all pedaling away here. They do not give up, Katie. Incredible no, stuff. Look, at we've got number 48 here, and he's more interested in waving at the crowd. That's fantastic. <laughs> Number 48, Carl, waving at the crowd, doing a bit of showboating. That's Ben Metcalf. <laughs> ben Metcalf with his little knees going in the number 48 car. Oh, we've got some more at the back. They're just here to enjoy it, aren't they? They're just taking up the atmosphere, well, smiling at the crowd. It's fantastic. George Moore in the closing stages, you know, close down the leader. The 177 car is not even in my program. So this. 70 entries until they find some extra ones. Amazing stuff. I think that was one of the most exciting races. It was in the last 10 metres, wasn't it? Everybody was screaming. I haven't heard that noise from the crowd yet this morning. It's absolutely brilliant. The number two. Checkered flag still being waved. Oh, the number 23, bless her heart. Beatrice Bacon, come along. Nobody behind you. Oh, yeah, there are. We've got three or four. 71 car, Graham Thomas. But that's not Graham, that's a little girl. She's got some pretty cool shades on too. Yeah, Very stylish. Cool Number 34 coming through past the start finish. Lenny Clements. Big oh. round of applause for the, for the course car as well. We've got a little police car closing the course. That's fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. <laughs> You've been all over Northern Europe racing rally, basically, Extreme E, to come here to revival. Is it your first revival? Uh, it is my first revival here properly, yeah. And it's such an amazing atmosphere. Seeing this many people, we don't have crowds at our races, so seeing this many people cheering well, reminds you what motorsport's about, doesn't it? It's good to have people out again, no doubt about it. <laughs> Well, down at the finish line, I'm pretty sure, is Ed Foster, but he's going to have to get down on his knees to speak to these young drivers. George Moore, what a race that was. You've got your onboard camera, you've got your garlands. You had to pedal so hard for that, didn't you? Yeah, it was, it was my first time winning. I, I'd say thanks to my dad for taking me out cycling every day. <laughs> Fantastic. So how far have you had to cycle? 40 miles is my highest. Oh my. Windsor and back. Oh my goodness, no wonder you won. Rafe Burnett. Rafe, what a fantastic drive. You so nearly managed to win there, but you tried everything, a bit of blocking, but uh, you must have had fun, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. And do you think you'll be back next year? Probably. Probably. So what, more, what kind of training are you going to do for next year? Uh, probably just like doing loads of mountain biking around and like practicing. Just in my backyard, down the bottom of my field, really. Well, I think you'll be p properly sorted for next year. There seems to be a lot of preparation in the Setrington Cup all of a sudden. Right, Joe Bain, fantastic to be on the podium. How much did you enjoy that? A lot, yeah. And do you think uh, a budding racing career is coming along? Are you going to be a racing driver? Um, I don't know. Don't know. Would you like to be? Um, not really. <laughs> well, it'll be a lot cheaper if you're not, but congratulations. Thank you.